I grow food organically, so I don't use chemicals or artificial fertilizers. I love using compost because you've got to feed the soil and give it back everything you're taking out. And although I have plenty of duck and chicken poo, I love when I can get extra animal manure. And today I'm getting alpaca poo. I'm just up the road at my friend's place and you know you've got good friends when not only do they let you take some of their alpaca poo, they will help shovel the poo with you. That's a good friend. Hi guys, I'm Elisa and welcome to Moat Cottage Homesteading, the small space homesteading channel. Now I am a small space homestead, but I'm really lucky to live in the country. So I am surrounded by paddocks and acreage and hills and they're full of animals that like to poo. And that means for me, I get to have plenty of poo for my garden. Today I'm gonna to show you how I use my alpaca poo and what I do with it to treat it before I use it on the food. Because alpaca poo is a cold manure, so you can put it straight on the garden, like the roses and irises absolutely love it. However, with the food, I like to heat it up to get rid of any pathogens and bacteria like salmonella, and we'll kill that off before we put it around our vegetable garden and our food crops. The cool thing about alpacas, unlike other farm animals, they have areas in the paddock where they poop. This makes it easy to collect their waste. All you have to do is find a pile. Although alpaca poo is low in organic matter, it has a fair amount of the primary nutrients for growing plants. That's your nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. The NPK ratio for alpaca poo is 1.5 to 0 0.2 to 1.1. Now this is lower than your synthetic chemicals, but this is a long-term gardening plan. And apart from adding vital nutrients to the soil, alpaca poo improves the texture of the soil and the water holding capacity, which in the middle of the hot summer is definitely gonna be beneficial. To kill the pathogens like salmonella and listeria, that can cause foodborne illnesses if you add the manure directly to the food crops. All you have to do is heat it up to 60 degrees Celsius, that's 140 Fahrenheit, for a few weeks. You could leave the buckets with their lids on in the hot car, or you could put them in the greenhouse, it's nice and warm in there, or you can pop them in the compost heap, in the buckets as they are, if you've got room in your composts. Any of those locations would be suitable. Once that's been in there for about three weeks and it's heat treated, it'll be ready to add to the garden. I just sprinkle it all over my garden and let it leach in naturally. If I was starting a new garden bed, I'd probably till it in about eight inches, mix it all up with the soil and organic compost, and it would be right to go. Remember to source your animal manure from people who don't use chemicals. Thanks for hanging out with me to talk about alpaca poo, and I'll see you in the next video.